my new gaiters arrived from Amazon. We're laid on the bed, testing out the projector. On the ceiling, we have a situation. Lunch has arrived, and so has the Disney wife. Hello. Not stood us up for a change. Here we are. Hello, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Welcome to a new vlog. Here comes Nick with... Lemon curd. The lemon curd that we got yesterday. I put lashings on as well, so you get to taste the tanginess and the cheesiness of it. Mm. Mm. It's just like one of those Costa lemon tarts. Oh yeah. Lemon curd tarts. So yes, we went for the lemon curd, not the lemon cheese. But uh, I, I think next time I need to get the lemon cheese just to see the difference. It can't be better than this, it's nice. Ignore the state of me so far this morning. It's 11.45, it's a Sunday. I won't show you Nick in his box shot. It's a Sunday, we're having an easy morning. I've just been in the shower. Uh, I'm working on some blog posts. Check out our blog, www.thelodgeguys.com. Do you like a slice of ham? Uh, well, go on then, on a rye vita. <laughs> on a rye vita with some butter on. Get lost. And a bit of hot a chili jam. Um, so it's 11.48, um, we're not going out until later, we are going to head to uh, my sister, she's invited us for tea, dinner, evening meal, uh, where she says she's going to do sausage and mash and vegetables and we're going to um, do some cabling so that um, the eldest uh, niece can watch her TV finally, we put it on the wall, um, but the, cave, the, the plug is right at the other end of the TV uh, of the room, so she's not be able to watch it yet, bless her. So we're going to hopefully sort that out for her today. So this morning we're just catching up on some work, um, <clears throat> some social media stuff, some YouTube comments. Thank you for commenting on all our videos. Just booked us parking in this hotel. Doing stuff like that, yeah. Just booked us parking in this hotel for our Florida trip later on in the year. Um, and uh, Nick's just making a slight small snack. My new gaiters arrived from Amazon. It's a fur, thermal fur lined one with uh, like a knitted outer and oh my god it's bloody warm and I, it doesn't deafen me like the other one when I talk like the sound of your own voice goes to your ears and it it's, it's fills up your hood that one you got the other day were a bit naff to be fair yeah well I'm taking, tried it I'm taking it, that one back that one crusty and yeah, starchy it this one feel claustrophobic this one feels like a big jumper that pulls up <laughs> It does look it's, like you're going to rob something. But it does, uh, well yeah, but I hope they let me into Disneyland Paris. I'm sure they've used to be. Oh, it's so it. snug and warm. I can imagine it's going to get quite moist with your breath though. Show it inside. Oh, I just did, just uh, did. It's all like fur It's like a fur lined one. And then when you want to eat, you just pull it down and scoff. And then put it back up and get it full of food. Yeah, probably. We have a situation which we've just realised. So the forecast is going to be like really, really cold in the UK. And um, when we drained the van down Taylor, I just opened the boiling outlets and took the water out of the water tank. I didn't blow through the, uh, the pipes. And she sat there in the freezing cold and the temperature is going to drop to minus five. We may have to go and sort her out. So what do you got to think? I'm actually quite excited about it. <laughs> what, are you giving us something to do? Well, no, no, I'm just giving us something to do. Just so we, we, so we, we get to see Taylor again. I'm actually, I'll get to see those curtains again and decide again that I still don't want them. I, I was looking forward to a, a, a move at the apartment because I love the apartment and um, I am enjoying it, but I'm missing Taylor a lot more than I thought I would. <laughs> I really am. Well, if those pipes split inside that wall, you'll be missing it a lot more because we won't be going in March. We'll be taking the kitchen out. So, no, the thought of actually going and seeing her and being in her for a little bit and yeah, looking at the curtains again, thinking now they're all right, blah, blah, blah. It's actually quite exciting. I don't know how, I'm, I'm, I'm sat here thinking, how the hell do I blow those pipes through when everything is kind of, the drawers in the kitchen are fitted in front of it, blocking the access to the taps. So I'd have to take a screwdriver to get the, the bottom drawer off, disconnect the, uh, the tap. What I should have done is put a drain tap in it inside to drain the resid residual water in the pipes, you know what I mean? So... Anyway, we have a trip over there. Not today, obviously. Not today, no. I mean, the weather's not coming till Tuesday. Uh, it's only Sunday now. So we, uh, we've got to go tomorrow. And um, I think the Disney wives might be free tomorrow. I haven't asked them yet, we'll but they usually are. Um, well, they usually stand us up, to be fair. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true, actually. They stand us up every time, don't they? So maybe we'll just sneak over and not tell them. Um, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll message them and ask them if they're going to be free for lunch, but we'll go over early morning and get that sorted. And uh, just check on Taylor, make sure she's all right. There we go. The TV's working. She can now watch TV in her bed. Another job done. Right. 
Now time for tea. Sausage and mash. Sausage and mash. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's bitter. I Absolutely. hope it's not too cold tonight over bitter. at lunch. Oh no, yeah. Well, we can go, go. Well, we could go now, but we're not. Oh no. <laughs> I'd rather, pack, I'd rather pack freeze and fix it later then. We just got in the car. It's two degrees. It's so cold. <laughs> the air's got like a crispiness to it. Yes. Um, my projector's turned up. Oh yes. Um, <sighs> What? I don't know. I'll let Nick show you it when we're back at the apartment. I'm no doubt I'll be playing with it on it the roof. It needs charging, but I'm, the 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 brightness is not. It's going to be an issue. Yeah, but we're watching it in a in a brightly lit room. I know, sisters. But so. that means we can never watch the TV while I'm working with light on during the day. Well, yeah, that's true. That's the problem. Mm. So I'm thinking maybe one of those TCL TVs because they're as light as a feather. Or you could just watch TV during the day on your tablet. And then save the projector for when watching it together on an evening. Perhaps. Just need to turn off the gas supply. We're laid on the bed, testing out the projector. On the ceiling. On the ceiling. Watching one of our vlogs just to test the quality. Apologies for the shaking amount of the camera, but I'm doing this one handed. This is actually almost empty Let anyway, so we need to refill this. Oh, so what the hell we've used it on, I've no idea. We haven't been anywhere yet. The remote control's on the back, which is a bit stupid because the camera's going to be it against a wall, do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, that's true. It's a very tiny little projector. I'll show you properly in, um, it's like a little tomorrow device. in the seat. It's like a little cube. Yeah, when it's, when it's um, light, I'll show you it properly. We are going to take it to Taylor tomorrow and yeah. try it. Because I'm not convinced. I don't think it's bright enough. Mm. And as you can see, it works amazingly. Put somebody else's on. I want to watch like something else other than our vlog. Like whatever that is there, that frozen wait, solid. Wait, wait, wait. It's very clear. It is when you get the focus right. The Wi-Fi on it's absolutely shit. Because we're quite far away from the uh, the access point here. Well, shall I put my phone on? We'll continue to test it and we'll take it to the van tomorrow and we'll let you guys know what we think. It's got the keystone, so it adjusts its shape depending on whether you put it on the wall. But look at the size of it over there and how dim that looks. I mean, mm. the camera makes it look really bright. Yeah, it's not that bright. But it's really dim. You would struggle to watch a film on that. But we're not going to be watching it at that distance. No, so that's true. We'll try it in the van It tomorrow. needs to be tested in the van with yeah. some natural daylight. Right, so next day we're in the car, we're on the way to see Taylor. I was going to say we're on the way to the lodge, but we're off to see Taylor. And then uh, one of the wives is free, so we may have a meeting for lunch, but it all depends on what happens with Taylor. It is minus one outside. So, um, fingers crossed, it's going to be a little bit warmer on the coast because the coast tends to be more of a generic temperature than inland. So hopefully it's not frozen the pipes already because we won't be able to blow the, um, the air through if not. So once we've done that, we're going to then test the little projector again, which we watched again last night, and it's not as bad as I thought. I mean, it, it should have been £300, and I got it for £192, with a voucher that they had on a, a new one, and then £80 off. But we tried it at the, the distance we think it's going to be in the van, and it looks pretty yeah. much okay. Yeah, it's hard it? to tell when you're in a bedroom wall. It needs to be actually in the van, so it's a good job of going over there to actually do the test. And we like the fact that it's portable, so we can That's the biggest advantage for me, is the portability, which means you can pick it up, put it in your pocket, if, if, you're, if you're having a campfire outside, yeah. you can project it on the side of the van and yeah. watch a movie. You can Bluetooth it to a speaker. It, is, it runs a very old version of Android. It runs Android 7. Um, very old. But everything runs on it. Disney Plus is on it. Netflix is on it. YouTube's on it. Um, but you can't update it. That's the only downside. The other thing as well is it's got a stopper missing off the bottom so if it's not on the tripod it basically rocks it is a brand new item as well yeah so and i've emailed them and i've, I've said look i don't really want to return it i would rather you just basically send, send me the stopper. stopper the other thing as well is it's got a hdmi port it's a mini hdmi on the side just there the only problem is you need a converter that converts it and they provide one in the packet but the end of the cable's wrong it doesn't allow you to plug anything into it so that's a that's a female socket and that just converts this back to a male, which means it's, it's like it's the cable for an output, do you know what I mean, rather than a But with all input. these problems, I still think it's all right for the price. So it must be good, <laughs> but it's not crystal clear. It's only a 1080p projector, but at, at close range, it's brighter, at further away, it's obviously not. And it's 15,000 lumens, which is pretty bright, but um, 
we just need to see what it looks like in the van. That's going to be like the deciding factor. So we'll we'll, we'll, we'll find out when we get there. On. Hopefully, make it nice and dark. You won't need to because it's 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 got other vans at the side of it, so it's pretty dark in there anyway. Especially with that um, dark sky. I'm actually got a dark sky light now for the Max Air. I mean, we've got a clear one. So um, we'll have to find out when we get there. Here we are. Hello, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi. Oh, how are you doing? Let's see what the temperature is. It doesn't feel that bad, to be fair. It's one degree. It doesn't feel as. Oh, I like these curls and all. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind them. I don't it's mind them. I'm not sure about. I mean, they're just. I don't know. We'll oh, yeah, they're sick. not bad. We'll yeah, I like them. Sick. Right, we'll keep them. Um, oh, right. My power's off, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't need it. Right, so what I need to do. Don't forget, we need to test that um, projector as well. Yeah, ah, I missed, I missed you, Taylor. We could have been out in here this January, but Nick's too soft. Uh, no. Right, I need you to go to the back and look at the water tank while I switch it to cold and blow backwards to see whether it pushes it back through. If it doesn't, I've got to get all the cupboard out and get underneath. So, off you pop. Can I go through here? Um, you need to open the back doors because you need to go to see okay. it. It's like a piss squirt. Well. That's all I've got out. Better than not, that's what, what we needed, isn't it? Just to get it out of the pipes. Uh, right. Well, that's drained off that. At least that's the one on the shower done. I just need to do the same for the hot water. And then, uh, well, I don't really know what to do because it's kind of... Kind of what? This connection's everywhere and there's gonna be water in each segment and I can't blow it through because the pump's open. The pump's off. There's, there's like an airlock in the pump. Next pipe. Been done, how much got out? Oh, yeah, got quite, quite a lot, lot on that one. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna try and blow down the uh, kitchen tap. It should be interesting, putting all this in my mouth. Ugh. Well, what should I have to wear? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, lovely. Where's it, where's it coming out? Where am I looking? Exactly where we've just been draining. Uh, Is it poured out? I don't know. Where's pipe gone? I don't know. Back here, hang on. Right, we've drained down as much as we can, so the next job is to test this uh, projector. Oh! Oh! We, we've, like not, we've not got it as dark as we could. We've pulled those curtains on, the back curtains aren't pulled on. Well, it's the perfect shape and size, isn't it? You might have to cover the blind up. Yeah. What we need to do, maybe, we is need just a get a, set. Yeah, just get something. You can get them. Yeah, we'll definitely need one. Well, let's let it boot up. I've connected the hotspot on my phone, so we can have a look and see what uh, what will play. But that's perfect. Just sat there. And you can you could sit it in in there and project it, project it, that it over there. Yeah. Well, we'll try that in a minute. So this is the Ooh. box of the uh, projector we got from Amazon, Wimius, is it Wimius? Q2 DLP projector. Let me try and just adjust it further down. Wi-Fi, 4P correction, portable, multi-connection. Hold on. It's not the fastest loader, is it? No, it's, it's an, an old Android, isn't it? I know, that's putting me off that. Maybe we should look for one with a newer Android. The will it's same though. Because it doesn't need to be fast, it doesn't need to be up to date because the app's not changing. The signal, the signal, the signal isn't very good here, um, so it's just locked up, but... Um, right, so I don't think it's too... Oh, no. Obviously it's during the day, so... Yeah, but it's not going to be much darker than this. Go and put it up there and see if it, what it looks like over there. Yeah, but I need to watch, draw all curtains to test it. The size is great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The speakers are rubbish, but I'm, I'm yeah, sure that. that. I'm two minds whether we need a TV or not. If we get a TV, it's going to stand about that far off. I don't think we do. <clears throat> I think we do. Go and try it up there. Because then we can have like fish or fish bowls, or we can have scenic things to be like artwork instead. And we've got the power for it here. Planned ahead. Bloody hell, Taylor, what are we going to do? <laughs> what are you, Taylor? <laughs> Nice and toasty in here with fire on. Looks like it's on fire. 
I actually really impressed with it myself. Mm, it's not defining, it's not bright enough. Mm. And it's quite dark in here. The camera might not show it, but it is pretty dark. Short of it being pitch black. Pull your curtains on, pull your curtains it's on. It's not going to make any difference. Mm, it, is this, it is this ceiling one that's letting all the light in, isn't it? That's made no difference what No, we need a cover for this, 100%. Well, can you get someone to cover it up so I can test it? Because um, we'll be um, we'll be getting woke, woken up at 4am. I know. It's even now, it's not defining, is it? Let me find something else. What do you think? I think a 32 inch TV, the same as what we got the kids, would be better. Because it's very lightweight. I have changed my mind, but I've just changed it back again. <laughs> I like the ability to be able to just Put move it. it. I've just said if we're, so if we're cooking. If we're sat here having a cup of tea, we can watch TV there. Yeah. I mean, we may end up just keeping it just for like outdoors. <laughs> Sit on pot, watch it. Well, you won't get much projection. Well, yeah. <laughs> Toilet TV. But um, I don't know, my mind's in like turmoil now. I like it. I really like it. So, pass it back. So, if I put it here, just put it on the camera. Hold on. I'm impressed. And the, so the brightness is better now? Yeah. Uh, and that's what? Eh? Only 15% battery remaining. I charged that last night fully. Mm -hmm. That's concerning. Fully charged that last yeah, night. Yeah, keep testing it. I love it. I think it's brilliant. Christmas Eve vlog. Oh, I don't know what to do. I'm impressed. Just on our way to a garden centre. Coming from the right, I think. And there's a train coming. I think it'll be coming from the right. I think it'll be coming from the left. I think it'll be coming from uh, Beverly. And it'll be coming up to Bridlington. I wonder who'll be right. Oh, I can see it's coming from the left. <laughs> ah, there we go. You should listen to me. There we go. Choo choo. You're buying lunch. So we figured while we're over here, we'll come for lunch at our favourite garden centre. And um, we've arranged to meet one of the wives. She said she's on her way, but we know what they like for standing us up, don't we? Well, she said she's on her way this time. Well, she said that last time, but they fell asleep, didn't they? <laughs> anyway, um, I've already decided I want a cheese and picking sandwich. I need a wee. Oh, warmth. Mm. Not seen this Not before. Seen this before. Crunchy, Crunchy biscoff. biscoff. A bit expensive, but what's this? Smunchy peanut butter. Is that just crunchy peanut butter? Just a fancy name for it. I presume so. Salted caramel spread. Oh my god, that just sounds like it's a biscoff spread. Look at these for your oh, hot chocolates and stuff. And Put them in look. your hot chocolates. Oh, it's just tempting. We're just waiting for uh, Vicky to arrive. Waiting to be stood up. So we're having a little mooch around. Oh, that's what you see in, in yeah shops when you get when you get a little things. coffee. Oh god, look at the size of these uh, biscuits. They look nice, Grandma Wilds. Mm, I could just buy a box of them, but not at that price. I believe they're good prices. Thermal Glove, six ninety nine or two for eight pound. You've already bought some. I know, I'm not getting any more, but look at these. Warm rating is three. Well, we've got hand warmers, so... I know, no, I don't use, need any more. You can use tights on your hands if you wanted with them. Mm. Nice flat white, that looks good. I've never heard of flapjack. We cornflakes on. A cornflake flapjack? Yeah. Mm. It is very nice, it's very treacly. That's yours. Lunch has arrived, and so has the Disney wife. Hello. Not stood us up for a change. Just one wife today. Just one, other ones at work. Yeah, she's on her way back now. She had to go to head office for something, so she's nice, at the uh, Disney teacher. Uh, All Disney new for our Paris trip. I came this morning. Are you going to Paris? Maybe. Hope we have a nice time. Yeah, hope you have a nice time with you as well. Is it any good? Mm. It's really sweet, that chutney. You can have a if you want. Go on then. Very nice sandwich when it came. Toasted with some apple chutney. Oh, it was so sweet and sugary. Ham and cheese. Heading back now. Uh, the long drive back to the apartment. It's just a shame. I mean, the lodge is so close, but we can't get there. I know. Right, so that's all that done with. Um, hopefully, Taylor is now sorted for her winter hibernation. 
um, and while we're over there we just call into a garage just to book her in for the final bits and bats that need doing um, like there's a knocking sound in there multiple uh, knocking sounds there's multiple knocking sounds but it's not engine or anything like that we know what it is uh, the garage told us a while ago that it's this that and you could just we could just leave it but we don't want to leave it we want to get it sorted um, so that's for when we get back to the lodge later on this year well in a couple of months so it's um, booked in it's booked in after the deadlocks have been fitted mm -hmm. Um, and then he's going to fit the alloys as well. So and potentially, we don't actually need tyres. Well, we do need tyres, obviously, but we don't need new tyres. The ones that are on the there ones that are like camper van tyres already. They've There's sufficient a... load rating on them. Yeah, so we're just going to decide whether we want new tyres or not. We've already ordered the alloys, um, new alloys. They're a little bit lighter uh, and they look a lot better than the ones that's on there now. So and then we get it wrapped. Yeah, and then. then uh, we're ready to go. Get on his way. Once we've changed the curtains. Um, Nick said he hates the curtains now that he's seen them against it. I went in today and thought, oh, actually, I really like the curtains. I don't mind like the big one, but the back windows look ridiculous because they're so short, but they're so brittle and plasticky. I drew them and it literally, it would just stood like that on bed. It would just, there's just no playing them at all. I, like, I, I just think live with them. I think they're all right. And then change them in maybe six months or so. And then it all can freshen the van up as, as again. So I can't do change. it. I can't do it. Uh, and now he's got this OCD. He doesn't know whether he likes the, the projector or he does like the projector. One minute he likes it, the next minute he doesn't like it. And he wants a TV hanging on wall. The thing is, if I've got doubts, I should, I should really say no to it. I like the portability of it. And I like the flexibility. But how many times are we going to sit with the projector outside projecting onto the side of the van. Well, yeah, I agree. Probably it's never. It's just a, a thought. It, it would be great to be outside the van in the summer watching a, a big a film on a big screen on the side of the van, but I must admit how many times we're probably likely going to do that. Not many times. Yeah. Because, you know, either we'll be in a park-up and you park up sat watching a, a film outside. Yeah. Or you'll be in a, in a campsite and you won't want to be disturbing people. So, yeah. And I'm thinking that the TV. But I do love the possibility of it. And, like, if we're going around the UK, and visiting friends, we'd be like, we'll bring projector in and we can have a movie night with the projector and stuff. But you'd, be have to, you'd have to have the lights off because it's just not bright enough. I really like it. I like it, but it's just not bright enough. It's like, unless it's pitch black, like it was in the bedroom last night, and even then at a distance you struggle to see what's happening. You couldn't watch film on it. The lumens are just nowhere near high enough, mm. unfortunately. So, so I'm thinking we get one of those TCL TVs that we got the kids for Christmas. They have very good quality, actually. Very um, good quality. And they've got built-in fire stick. Yeah. But they the were problem on offer, is, the, the, they were on offer at the time. Though I don't know if they are now. I'll have a look. But the problem is, the I need a TV that can be converted to 12 volt or at least 9 volt. They were they were actually light as a feather. I could pick one of those 32 inch up with my fingers. They are very fingers, light. I couldn't believe it. Uh, and the, the first thing we said when we got like, bloody well, yeah, hell, we could put that in a camper van. Um, so maybe we'll keep both. I really like that projector, but I suppose we won't mm, use both. But. No, we wouldn't use both. So anyway, if we get a TV on a swing arm, we could keep it on the wall when we're just bimbling and laying in bed, and then on a night, if we're actually with his heads in the right position, we can swing the TV out to... But you won't be swinging that TV out if I'm sat there editing. Well, you won't be sat there if we're in bed, will you? Yeah, but sometimes you'll be in bed and I'm doing it. So then I'll use my iPod stuff. tablet. Well, uh, that's another thing I said. Let's just stick with the projector, and we'll, we're both taking a tablet, so we'll just watch TV on a tablet. Don't monitor. be a tight ass. It's not tight ass, it's a logical thinking. Then we've got the, the projector as well. Anyway, yeah, you get on with driving. The TV is great for putting like a fish tank on or a picture of a, of the Grand Canyon and then you just change the picture when you're fed up of looking at the same thing. You could do that on projector. Well, you could do, but then if you walk in front of it, it disappears and you won't be able to see it during the day. I think I've decided the projector's going back. Yes, I think he's decided as well. And the curtains, he decided that as well. I just let him get on with it. Um, let his OCDs take over and get on with it. Um, so, um, that was a nice lunch we had with Vicky. We were just talking about some DLP stuff. Um, she had that new jumper on for Disneyland Paris, and um, they've been watching vlogs and all sorts of stuff. I feel we, I feel like we're very un, unplanned, but we haven't watched any vlogs. But to be fair, we were, we were only there a couple of months ago. She's packing a case like two weeks before we're even going to go. I yeah, think. I'll be doing it at the last minute, I think. Um, and. Um, to be fair, we've watched a couple of vlogs of them on New Year's Eve and we've got what we needed. Um, the, the new things for us are drone Rosalie's. Show. The drone show, we don't want to look at a vlog because we don't want it spoiled. We want to watch it when we get there. And um, Disneyland Hotel. Oh yes, that's new. Disneyland Hotel is open when we go. We've never been in there before. And again, I don't really want to look 
and spoil things. I want to uh, experience some. Um, well, now captain's quarters as well. We need to make sure to find out whether they've got a, a bar in there that we can replace captain's quarters with. Oh, that reminds me. Because um, we're doing ja dry January. And to be honest, I think I'm just going to go long term and just see how long I can do dry, dry rest of my life, maybe. Um, somebody mentioned, I might have said it on a vlog, on our Facebook group. Why did they mention it? I don't know. Um, that Tesco were doing £10 on club card. Captain Morgan, is it? Is that the rum brand? Mm. I'm non alcoholic rum and it tastes really good. And I like a, a rum and cock every now and again. Um, so I looked on Amazon and it gets really good reviews. So I ordered some anyway and it's been delivered to the apartment. So it'll be there when we get back. And people were saying on the reviews, get it with some ginger ale. Um, then it gives you that little bit of fiery kick at the back of your throat. But what is missing without the alcohol? So I got some of that as well. Did you get fiery ginger ale on? No, I just got the cheapest one I could get. It was an Amazon Sounds brand. About right was that an Amazon? No, because I went for diet, so it was sugar free. Amazon ginger ale. Yeah, because it was only one that I could find that was sugar free, and I didn't want to spend a fortune on it for if it was rubbish. Um, so anyway, tonight we'll try a non-alcoholic rum with no sugar ginger ale. And how much sugar's in the rum? Um, Probably lots. No, it doesn't. There's much in it, to be honest. So um, we'll see how that tastes. Two hours now to get back. Captain Morgan's zero. Don't try it neat. Did you not say? Did you say that somebody said don't try it neat? Well, I mean you can try it, but the people have said don't expect it to taste like rum. It does in a mixer. Let me try it. Making noises like Matty Brenda. What well, the hell? Like your lips. Oh, it's nice though. It'd be nice with ginger ale, definitely. Well, where's the ginger ale? Does that come up there? Amazon so, basics. <laughs> Amazon ginger ale. Who even knew that was a thing? Fire it and sweet. Huh? Where's the rest of it? <laughs> That's why it's basics. <laughs> Could do with a bit of ice in it, but we haven't got any. No. No. I mean, you can't taste it for ginger ale. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know that. Let me try it. What it would be like without ginger ale. You can. It's strange. You can taste it. It does taste like Captain Morgan's, but without that kick. It's very strange. Maybe it'd be nice. Maybe we should have got like a diet coke to try it with. I can I can taste it. Uh, but it's, it's not bad. Just, it's more. Let me have another taste. It's more sweet yeah, rather than, smell. than than bitey. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, well, not bad. I'll have a beer. You have that. Bad. You have that. I'll have a beer. That's our day over and done with. Almost. I'm just going to go to bed and read some more of my Elton John autobiography. It's very good. Actually, it's already minus three outside and it's only nine o'clock at night. Is it nine o'clock? Is it nine o'clock? It feels later than that. Ten past nine. Nine minutes past nine. I can't stop eating tonight. Why? Well, what have you been having? I've, I've just been on computer all well Two packets of crisps, two slices of bread, um, a non alcoholic beer, state of your bedside cabinet, a cherry bakewell, bottles of water, and cherry crisp bakewell, skinny whip, um, two crackers. Well, they like them cherry bakewell skinny whips. They don't taste cherry bakewell. I bet they do. They don't taste of anything, just just the coconut ones are good. The coconuts are nice. Um, so Nick's just in here. I've been uh, doing some uh, editing and stuff. That's I'm what just relaxing. that's what he's got on at the moment. I've actually fallen asleep once. I have put the light. Warm myself so. up from from um, snoring. No, from choking actually. <laughs> I've put the lights on so it did actually look quite cosy in here before I uh, came in and barged in. Yeah. Now bugger off. So. Conclusion. Is the projector staying or going back? I've just done a return for it, it's going back. So we shall be keeping it. It's just not good enough. 
Well, I'm disappointed because I actually quite liked it. The kids' TV is going to be fine. The only problem with it is 240 volt. Now, I can buy one for about the same price as the projector, which will plug into a 12 volt socket made for camper vans, 32 inch, cello, but it doesn't have a fire stick built in. We just have to put a fire stick in, that's no problem, though, is it? That's no problem. Yeah. Oh well. And then we have to get a suitable bracket that we can swing it out to tilt towards the bed. Thanks for watching today, guys. I'm going to end the vlog now. So, so I'll turn my head in. Uh, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hit the like button. Click the notification bell. Drop us a comment below if you're new around here. Thanks for watching. And uh, it's much appreciated. And um, click that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And we'll see you on the next vlog. Bye. Bye.